Questions for Irving's police chief as he met with members of the Muslim community tonight. At the center of the controversy, a boy and his clock, now known around the world, Gilma Avalos live in Irving with what happened at tonight's meeting. Gilma. Tag and Kaylee, the police chief called this meeting a positive one. He touted the great relationship the community has had with the department and leaders here, they were welcoming, though they're still seeking answers. As for the boy behind the clock, he believes he was profiled. With all eyes on Irving, the city's police chief met with Muslim community leaders tonight. It was in his first visit to the mosque. We spoke about the incident and we spoke about moving forward and continuing the mutual trust and respect that we have with each other. The media was not allowed at the meeting. Muslim leaders say the chief faced tough questions inside, like why the school wasn't put on lockdown if there was such a concern for safety. The chief vowed to look into the case. As we do with any kind of high profile incident, and which we should do, we'll, we'll review this. We'll look at decision points and you know, where there are opportunities to, to take it in a different direction. At home, still suspended from school, 14 year old Ahmed Mohammed calls himself the kid who built a clock and got in a lot of trouble for it. I made it to impress my teachers. In his NASA t shirt, he nonchalantly says the clock took 10 to 20 minutes to make. He showed the clock to his English teacher. She told me it looks like a bomb. Well, I'll hang on to that. For the rest of the day, and I'll give it to you at the, end of class, at the end of the day. But Ahmed says two classes later, the school principal and an Irving police officer pulled him out of class. One of the police officers arrested me, but the room was filled with five police officers, so they like all got up on me, and they were like, "Stay still, you're under arrest." The teen says he felt scared and profiled. I just felt like I was a criminal. I was profiled as a. A terrorist. Outside the mosque, Ahmed attends a seventh grader proudly displays his support on the windshield of his father's car. Hashtag I stand with Ahmed, it reads. We don't like stereotypes. Now the district has maintained the school acted out of an abundance of caution to protect all students. Late tonight, we spoke with the husband of the teacher whose sources say alerted officials. Now he told us that English teacher is doing fine and that the family had no official statement at this point. Live in Irving tonight, Gilma Avalos, CBS 11 News. Gilma.